Are you discouraged when you do good and nothing happens? Good morning, everyone. This is our reflection question for today. Holy Spirit, make my heart open to the Word of God. Make my heart open to goodness. Make my heart open to the beauty of God. During the Nazi era in Germany, one of the strongest Catholic leaders in the German Reich was Cardinal Michael von Fallhaber, an able Bible professor. He long taught courses on the Old Testament in the University of Strasbourg. Then in 1911, he was named Bishop of Speyer and in 1917, Archbishop of Munich. Pope Benedict XV raised him to the rank of Cardinal in 1921. A few years after Fallhaber received the Red Hat, Adolf Hitler began to rise into power. The cardinal held Hitler in little esteem. As a nobleman, he disdained his Austrian upstart. As a churchman, he disapproved of his ideology. In the early 1930s, when Hitler's Nazis began to peddle their deadly philosophy, the cardinal boldly condemned racism, neo-paganism, and totalitarianism from his cathedral pulpit, basing his sermons on the scriptures with which he was so familiar. Particularly notable were his Advent Sermons of 1933, in which he emphasized that Christianity had its roots in Judaism. As an intellectual, Cardinal Fallhaber was also not at all uncomfortable in conversing and even sparring with other savants. There is a famous story of his chat with the great Nobel physicist, Jewish but agnostic, Albert Einstein. Einstein and the Cardinal met on one occasion, and during their conversation, the scientist said, I respect religion, but I believe in mathematics. Probably it is the other way round with your eminence, isn't it? No, Fallhaber quietly replied, To me, both are merely different expressions of the same divine truth. But Einstein responded, If mathematical science should prove one day that some of its findings are in direct conflict with religious beliefs, what would you say then? Oh, said the cardinal with a smile, I share the highest regard for mathematicians and I am certain that in such a case, you people would never rest until you found out where your mistake was. In today's second reading from 1 Corinthians, this verse stands out, so that your faith might rest not on human wisdom, but on the power of God. Paul went on four missionary journeys. Each time he encountered hardships in his travels, but his greatest challenge was particularly from the stubbornness of the people. Athens, in particular, was not receptive to his eloquence. In Corinth, where he first preached only the crucifixion of Jesus and his suffering, something unexpected happened. Pagans and Jews alike believed and were transformed. We reflect today on our own faith that translates into action. Following the model of Christ, we can do good to others selflessly, sacrificially, unmindful of the rejection we may experience. We may be tempted to give up when others belittle our efforts. We may be swayed to just join the bandwagon and leave the doing good to others. But for those who persevere in following the commandment of love of Jesus that governs all our actions, when we become like the salt of the earth through our love that preserves, when we continue to be like the light for people to see Jesus in us, we will be rewarded with conversion. The good we do to others changes them and fortifies our faith in God. Let us all pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, liberate me from my sinfulness and deepen my faith so that your light will shine through me, illuminating the path of others to you. This I pray in Jesus' holy and mighty name. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless our families, brothers and sisters. God bless our Catholic faith and couples for Christ.